What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute low impact full body strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for this 40 minute low impact strength workout. We have a full body workout today. We're targeting chest, triceps, back, biceps, legs, and glutes. And I know you're gonna love this workout. Only two rounds per exercise, 40 seconds each. And I'm gonna keep you moving today. Tons of variety, okay? I do wanna mention before we get started because I get so, so many questions and I'm so excited to finally have these back in stock for you guys. The glute resistance bands are back. So we have the light, medium, and heavy glute resistance bands. We have the tri-color set, which comes in a little pink bag if you get all three. And then we also, for the guys that have asked or for the girls that don't like the tri-color, we have the all black set. Also comes in all black uh, bag and it's a black band with a white logo, okay? So we have these as well. If you wanna grab those, you can grab yours at the link in the description, but I am gonna use mine today in the workout. So if you have yours, go ahead and grab them. Also, 10, 15, 20, and 30 pound dumbbells is what I'm using today. Grab your water and your sweat towel and we're ready if you are, okay? Big arm cross over your chest in three, two, one, let's go. There you go, add a little toe tap right behind your heel. Good, low impact, so no jumping today. There's no modifications for today other than lower your weight. Okay, for every kind of movement pattern, we will have a heavier, two heavier moves and two lighter moves. And this will make sense once we get started and you'll see the pattern throughout the workout. Backward circles. Okay, but you'll have heavy, heavy, lighter, lighter for a push circuit, a pull circuit, leg circuit, glute circuit. There you go. All right, heels to glutes. Good, feel the quad stretch, opening your hips up as well. Good work, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat, go down, up, down, up. If you can look down at your feet, make sure you're staying in the center. Good, three, two, one, turn your torso here. Let's get the core activated. I've got a really great stretch for you tomorrow. It is an entire upper body stretch. So if you hold any tension in your shoulders or your neck, your shoulders or chest, back are tight, you're not gonna wanna miss that stretch tomorrow. Okay, last couple stretches here. High kicks. Good work. Pull it up. I like to pull my toe back towards my knee. And for anybody who loves a good strength workout, you're gonna love this workout. All right, you're here. I'm proud of you for being here. Let's push hard together today, okay? Know you're capable. Know that no matter what you've started, you're gonna finish. We're gonna do it together, okay? While you're here spending the time, make sure you make it worth it, okay? Hips back and forth. Good. Think of your intention for the day. What do you wanna feel when you're done? How proud of yourself do you wanna be? How relieved do you wanna be for this little mental health break from your day? How much of a pump do you wanna feel, right? Whatever you wanna feel at the end of this workout, picture it and let's make it happen, okay? Your first circuit is a push circuit. So we start off with chest press. Okay, so go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna start with my 20s, all right? And we're gonna go in 12 seconds. First one, chest press. Second one, overhead tricep extension, okay? So let's go together, chest press in two, one. All right, let's go. 40 seconds right here. Second round through, we'll go 45 seconds since you already know the moves that are coming. Good job. Right around your chest. If you start to get tired and feel yourself kind of floating those dumbbells up near your ears, it's a little too high for your shoulders. Seven, 
six. Good job, two, one. Now drop one of those dumbbells down. Your second move is a skull crusher or tricep overhead extension. We're going right here. If you can use that same weight, that's fine. If you need to adjust, you've got about 10 more seconds. All right, so these are two heavy moves. Let's start on the overhead in three, two, one. Come on. Good work. Get to the bottom and push. Try not to move your elbows. Okay, so make sure you're not pulling back and forth like this. Okay, elbows lock right here. That's it, 10, nine. Three, two, one. All right, now for your two lighter moves. You have a chest fly as your first one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my 10 pound dumbbells for round one. All right, we're gonna open up right here. Okay, nice long rounded arms. So they're here, not here. Ready? Two, one, let's open. Good, think of reaching out and trying to hug a bunch of people or hug a big stability ball. You're wide and you're rounded. Your wrists are past your elbows. I think that's something we all can really picture in our minds. Instead of being wide pressed, where your wrists are stacked over your elbows, it's different. It's out here. Something that helps me is to make sure my wrists are kind of keeping themselves protected like this instead of here. Okay, seven seconds. Good. Two, one. All right, and your last exercise for the push is a tricep kickback. Remember I told you it was too heavy, too lighter. So we did our light chest. Now we've got our lighter tricep, okay? You can do one at a time. If you want to isolate that way, you want to go two at a time. I recommend doing that with your lighter weight. Two, one, let's go. There we go. Looking for the lockout back here. Okay, not just for the swing back and forth. It's not about the cycle of the dumbbell. It's about stopping and getting the flexion. There we go. So after this, remember what's coming? You've got one more round of all three, or all four of those. Chest press, skull crusher, chest fly, and kick back. Three, two, one, beautiful. Round number two and our last round through. If you can go heavier, we're back to chest press. All right, this one, 45 seconds each. We go in four, three, two, let's go. That's it. Keep exhaling. You went up and wait. Don't think you have to match the same pace. You have intensified in one way already, so rock that. Good job, give me 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good. All right, skull crushers. Now I'm also intensifying this for you by cutting out some of your wrist. Okay, let's go in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Sometimes the dumbbell transition is smooth and sometimes it just gets stuck on your leg or <laughs> in a weird position. It happens, we just keep going. Come on. <sighs> Beautiful, come on. <sighs> 15 more seconds. Oh, 
Breathe, good job. Two, one, and rest. Okay, oh, that was a burner. All right, we're back to our two lighter moves. Now, if you're going up, that's fine. Just comparatively, it should be a little lighter than the first round, or the first two exercises, I mean. Ready? Chest fly, let's go. Good, you're gonna hear me breathing a lot today. This is a slower paced, heavier workout, so your breath should match your reps. Every time you're pushing the most, so in the case of a chest fly, when I pull back together, I should be exhaling. That's it, 10 more seconds. And rest, tricep kickbacks. Here we go, stand up, grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna stick with my tens, and we go in four, three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Beautiful. You're right there. Keep the elbows pinned right where they are. Worry less about going back and forth and worry about flex at the back. Straight arm extend, okay? Good job. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Beautiful job. You've got 35 seconds rest and we start back with goblet squats. I am going to use a glute resistance band for my squats. Okay, I'm going to use a 30 pound dumbbell. Okay, medium band. We're going in 14 seconds, just your goblet squat. Okay, so right here. All right, let's go together in four. Three, two, one, here we go. 40 seconds right here. If you have your band on, you're driving your knees outward on the way up and on the way down, okay? So it can't just be here and then push out, right? Keep going. Got about 20 seconds left. Good. Now, sumo squats. I'm gonna go for a wide stance with this on my back. If you don't feel comfortable on your back, you can always hold your dumbbells here down in front, okay? We've got a wider stance and sit, okay? Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Good. Wider base. I like to check in, look down every now and then, make sure that I'm not Shifting my weight to my stronger side. Good job, keep pushing outward. Strong legs, beautiful work. You've got seven, six, three, two, one, great job, lateral squat walks. Now if you have a band and you wanna keep it on, you can keep it and add weight. If you don't have a band, you can just add weight. We're going side to side, level hips. So you're staying low the whole time. Ready? Whatever you have, combo of the weight and the band, just the weight, just the band, let's go. Now, something to make sure of, you're not stepping out with your foot ahead of your knee. Your foot stays under your knee. 
Okay, if you're sliding here, this is just a transition of weight, okay? So don't let your foot exceed where your knee is. Take the knee with the ankle. Feel the difference? I like to even imagine myself stepping out with the pinky side of my foot down first so I can really work my glutes. Good job, put that pinky edge down and rest, good job. Squat, single foot, tap out, okay? So we're gonna go down, tap, up, down, tap. If you wanna add weights, you can, okay? I'm gonna add some light weights to a front rack hold, okay? If you wanna modify this, just take that tap out, okay? Let's go. Good, there we go. Great job, eight, seven. Rest, good. I was about to start a three, two, one countdown and we were already there. Okay, we're back. Very top, goblet squats. Are you ready? All right, let's rock it. Three, two, one. Come on, let's go. Good, these bands make everything a lot more work for your legs and your glutes, mainly your glutes, okay? Remember, breathe in, exhale to push. There we go, come on. Drive the soles of your shoes into the floor or the arch of your feet. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good, 45 seconds there, remember? Round number two, we're back to our sumo squats. With or without the band, all these are the same. Okay. Whew. Let's go, three, two, one. All right, sumos. So they're just a little bit wider than your hips. Keep fighting for it. You're fighting for your strong today, okay? It doesn't always feel the same every day, but your strong is your effort. How hard are you working to be pushing yourself to be better, okay? You can definitely appreciate where you're at and push for more at the same time, all right? Let's go, 10 more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Lateral squat walks. If you're using the band, that's fine. If you're not, also fine. Whew. I like to give my back a little breather on these, so I'll take the body weight option. Two, one, let's go. That's something I'm constantly working on. Just side note while we're here spending this time together. Constantly working on making my back stronger, which I really appreciate and I can feel the progress in my leg exercises and upper body exercises. Good job. Remember, out onto the pinky edge of your foot. Good, can you drop a bit lower for the last 10? I think we can, come on. We've got some arms up next, so let's work hard here on the legs. Five, four, three, two, one, rest, and we've got that squat tap out for your last round, okay? Like I said, to modify that, take the tap out or you can go squat, tap at the top, okay? Ready? Two, one, let's go.
Come on, push through. You're about to be done with your legs for a little bit. <laughs> Good. Stabilize, that's what we're working on here. 10, nine, eight. Three, two, one, rest. Whoo, okay. Grab some water. <sighs> nice work. We're moving on to a pull circuit. Back and biceps, grab some water. All right, to stick with the low impact theme, long single arm rows is exercise one, okay? So try these out before we start. You got about 20 seconds, okay? We're starting here and then you're gonna scoot back from that dumbbell, pulling back, okay? One arm at a time. So I'm gonna start with my 20 for both arms. I feel a lot more controlled with that weight, okay? Let's start with our right arm. Ready? All fours, and then scoot back so there's an extension here. Two, one, let's go. Something you can also do is bring another dumbbell in to kind of elevate yourself. Okay, still give me that extension though. What's with the extension? The lat involvement, okay? If you start up in an extended position and you have to contract back, there's this extra little contraction from your lat and posterior delt that I want to add in here. Like I said, always looking to get stronger in my core. Okay, the main supporter of so many of our heavier lifts. And rest, good. All right, hammer curls are up next. This is our heavier bicep move, okay? So you have the option to go Alternating, if you're using really heavy dumbbells, or if you're using a little bit lighter, you can maintain double. Let's go here. Ready? Here we go. What you wanna make sure of is at the top of your curl, your elbow is not facing forward, okay? Your elbow is still pointing down to the ground because all you're doing is curling. You're not scooping to hold. Curl, just flexing the elbow. Okay, 15 more seconds. Good, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Good, there's our two heavier moves. We're back to the back, <laughs> back to back, and we're going back flies, okay? Hinging here, flying back. Okay, if you need to dial this back a little bit, one at a time. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Good, I like to think of my shoulder, shoulder blades meeting right in the middle of my mid back. Okay, so not up around my traps. Not here, but here. Okay, low back. You're thinking for aiming to the mid low back. There we go, 15. Yes, let's go, let's go. Nine. Four, three, two, one. All right, last lighter pull move. It's for your biceps again. You've got a curl, drop, single arm, okay? Not a drop set, but you're gonna hold isometric one arm you're gonna drop, curl, drop, curl. Drop one, curl it back to the hold. Ready, I'm using my tens again. Two, one, let's go. Drop, drop. So you're kind of hitting that bottom part of the curl. One arm is always flexing. Make sure you're not switching before one of them is paused, or before both of them are paused, I should say. Good, keep your shoulders back. If you're leaning in like this, keep it back. We gotta open that bicep up. Seven, good, four, three, 
two, one, beautiful. Long rows, we're switching over to the left arm. Okay, we're doing great. I need to grab some water. All right, left arm, let's go. Put it under you and then scoot back a little. Ready, let's do it. Keep your chest straight. There's no lawnmower starting, right? You don't need to rotate this way. You need to just pull back. Keep all of this level. Good job. Come on, we're almost there. Whew. 10. Three, two, one, rest, good. Hammer curls, Whew. let's go. If you can bump the curls up, hammer style, I'm gonna bump mine up and add in the alternate option. Okay, so left arm, right arm, not at the same time. Okay, let's go, two, one, pull, switch. Again, I don't want my elbow coming. When I get here, it scoops under and kind of does the rest of the lift for me. Okay, this little scoop is not bicep activated. So keep the elbow pointed down the whole time. You're just kind of giving a thumbs up. Ooh, great job. Nice work, okay? <laughs> Good. You know how I mentioned I'm always gonna keep going with you. Knowing you're there pushes me. This is one of those times. I just drew from your energy. It's burning. We've got five, four, I'm not gonna quit until three, two, one. Good, rest. So, thank you for being here, for knowing, me knowing that you're there, mentally pushes me. Back flies, okay, back to back. <laughs> two, one, let's go. I don't even know if that was funny the first time, but definitely, probably not the second time. Squeeze those shoulder blades, come on. Don't dive into it. Shoulder blades start this movement, so don't get into a, a little bob to get going, okay? Beautiful, 15. That's it, we've got four, three, two, one. Good, curl drops, Whew. and then we've got a glute circuit. <sighs> You're doing amazing. Hold one, drop, drop, drop. Four, three, two, let's go. Pause, drop, pause. Check in with your shoulders throughout this move. Okay, if you're going here and rotating in with the drop, you're not letting your bicep do all the work. Nothing moves except your forearms. See how my elbows aren't shifting? Nothing moves but my forearms. Good. Strong wrist. 15. Here's another moment. I'm needing your energy right now. Come on, keep going with me. Five, four, two, one. Oh, beautiful, great job. I'm so glad you're here. Grab some water. If you can lift your bottle up. <laughs> so, two heavy glute moves, two lighter glute moves. Heavy glute moves, Romanian deadlifts. You can go alternating if you would like, or you can stagger. Okay, I would love for you to do one leg dominant. Then we go down to glute bridges, two legs on the ground. Okay, after your glute bridges, I'm gonna add in my band, okay? We've got kneeling fire hydrants, okay? We'll start left leg first round, right leg second round. And then the last one, we'll have a straight leg pulse, which I'll use my heavy band for. So 
it'll all make sense once we get started. Let's start with our staggered deadlifts, okay? You're going one and then two. Stagger or if you feel confident, lift that back leg, okay? Let's go in 10 seconds. Quick demo here or here. And if you're modifying, you're right here, okay? Two, one, let's go. Beautiful. Keep that core tight. Good. Stay confident here. You can do this. Nine. Five. Four. Two. One. Good. Come on down for a glute bridge. Heavy band for myself. We're just going up and down, okay? No pulses, no abductions. Up, then down. Okay, here we go. Feet set, three, two, one. Up and down, let's rock. And for your glute resistance band, if you have one, the further away from your hip this band is, the tougher it is for your knees to open wide. So if you need to dial it back, maybe you scoot the band up a little bit more. If you want to go heavier, up towards your knees. Squeeze those glutes together to lift, not when you lift. Squeeze them to lift. There you go. When you do that, do you feel your backbone, your tailbone kind of tuck under? That's what we need. Two, one, good. Okay. Now I'm going for my light band. If you don't have a light band for the fire hydrants, I'll give you a couple more seconds here. If you don't have a light band, I want you to click this right here and lift here, okay? Try and point your toe so it's not so hard to flex and feel those tendons behind your knee, all right? But if you have a band, go ahead and grab it if you want to use it. We're going right leg out first, all right? Let's go in. Two, one, here we go. Good job. Here you go. You've got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're taking that same leg and we're gonna lift out back and just pulse here, here. Okay? So let's point the toe on this one. Point your toe and if you have a dumbbell, you wanna remove that or if you wanna hold it, either way. Let's go in three. Two, one, here we go. Up, up. Keep your hips straight. And this is our lighter hamstring and glute. I know you feel this in your hamstring as well. No need to rush through this one. If you have to bring it all the way down and rest, come back up, that is okay. Let's just see if we can keep it going, okay? Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, yes, two, one, ow, <laughs> and rest. We're back up to our Romanian deadlifts, okay? Alternating, you're staggering or you're lifting, and if you're doing neither of those, you're just going right into standard hinge, okay? All right, let's go in four, three, Two, one, all right, here we go. There we go. Come on, let's finish this one strong. This is it. 
Last round of this glute circuit. Look down in front of your toe, not ahead of your nose. Down at your toe. So your back is flat all the way up through your head. Six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful. Heavy band. Let's go if you have it. Glute bridges. Whew. Come on. Let's go. Two, one. All right, let's lift. Good job. Whew. Last half. Can we hold it up here? Can you hold up? Can you squeeze your cheeks together at the bottom and hold? Let's try it. Let's do it together. Up, 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 up. Come on. Don't let go. Dig the heels in. Squeeze the cheeks under and together. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Beautiful, fire hydrants, come on back. Dumbbell or band. All right, let's go in three. Opposite leg now, remember? Two, one, let's go. I want that control, okay? Lift to 90 degrees from your other leg. Good, you should feel this top part of your glute right here. Okay, this glute medius is what's working hardest to resist this band. Okay, that upper part of your glutes. I hear people say like, I want a rounder glute. I want my glutes to be more rounded. This glute medius, so powerful in that rounded kind of aesthetic. All right, if that's your goal. It also helps support your hip function keeping you stable and balanced. So in so many ways, it's beneficial. And rest, beautiful. We have one more, okay? Take that toe, point it, lift it back here. We lift up in five, four, three, two, let's go. Yeah, hip stability is really beneficial with these glute resistance bands. So when you get down to the bottom of a squat so you don't sway or round. I'm talking right now so I'm not noticing the burn as much. I still notice it. But just to talk about all the functional benefits of using these, it goes well beyond the aesthetic. How you squat, how you hold your posture, how your glutes activate. Come on, 10, nine. Three, two, one, beautiful rest. And let's take this band off or you can move your dumbbell down if you want a little surprise twist. You got a one minute plank to close this out, okay? We're gonna go in eight seconds, one minute plank. Okay? So, most beginner version, you're here. You wanna go down a little bit to challenge yourself, go here. Let's go in three. Two, one, here we go. One minute. We've hit arms and legs all day. I know you've got some stored up core energy right now. Core strength here. Can you think of this as kind of just all your muscles working? You wanna run through the anatomy of our body real quick? All right, let's do it. Elbows right under your shoulders, correct? Can you check that off your checklist? Okay, we move to the chest. You're not arched down, your chest Hold in, ribs are nice and tight, they're reaching for your spine. Good, belly button, also reaching for the spine. Okay, so notice this and this, we want this. Okay, squeeze your glutes together for me, good. Flex your quads by trying to straighten your legs out, good. Now shoot your heels away from your head. 10 more seconds, hold, hold, hold. You've got six, five, four, three, Two, one, and drop down. You have made it to your cool down. 
Amazing work, guys. So proud of you. Woo. Okay, sit it back, back, back. Reach your hands out forward. I hope more than anything that last minute right there just reminded you you are strong in so many ways. Okay, this was very push-pull legs focused, glutes as well. But then I throw in a core move and challenge you to go endurance mode. Whatever you did just now, you pushed your hardest for one minute on something that we hadn't even focused on the whole workout. Okay, why did I throw that in there? I planned it. Trust me, it was on the workout plan right there. <laughs> I planned it just to pull in how your body works together all the time. Okay, shift forward, drop your hips down. You are constantly working your whole body. You notice the plank wasn't something that you felt totally not warmed up for, right? You've been using your core all day. And this whole program is core and full body focused. And I just want you to feel that, okay? I want you to feel that your core has been working with you when you were doing bent rows, when you were doing deadlifts. It wasn't that your core was completely cold and you had no idea how to plank just now because you weren't warmed up, right? You're always using your full body. So tuck your toes down, lift your hips up to the sky, push your heels down. Okay, I want you to know strength is full body, okay? It's not just isolation. When you're doing a bicep curl, you're also holding your core tight. You're also keeping your spine erect, okay? You're also maybe squeezing your glutes so that you don't sit back into an arch, okay? Walk your hands back to your toes for me. Same thing with your squats, right? If you're doing a squat, it's leg focused technically, but you're also using your back. You're also using your arms to hold dumbbells. Okay, bend your knees just a little bit. Roll up slowly for me, one vertebrae at a time. Come up slowly, find something to look at. Breathe. Okay, let the blood kind of rush out of your head a little bit. All right, and I hope more than anything today you felt that power in yourself throughout the whole workout. Okay, I isolated a little bit, isolated, isolated, and at the end I just threw a, a plank in at you. Full body, you're strong, okay? That's what I always want you to believe in. In so many ways, you're stronger than you realize. In your workouts and in life, you know it was coming, and in life, but really, the way that you learn how to train here is the way that you learn how to push yourself outside of here. It's not a coincidence that as you've gotten stronger, you've gotten more confident in other areas of your life. Mentally, you felt like, okay, I appreciate myself a little bit more now. Those bare minimum things that I want for you, they don't just come out of coincidence or are just out of the blue. They come from you showing yourself, number one, you're worth it, number two, you deserve it, and number three, you can. And then most importantly, number four, you will, okay? So it's not a coincidence that you're reaping benefits outside of the workout, and that's why I want you to keep coming back so that you're the best version of you as a person, as everything that you are outside of this workout. And I love you for all of those things, and I want you to be better in any way that you need, okay? Whatever makes you feel better, makes you feel like royalty, like Royal Change says, that's what I want for you, okay? Make the changes that you need to feel like royalty, and I think it starts here. So I'm so proud of you today. Make sure if you're interested in those bands, check out the link in the description. They are back in stock, and I'm so, so proud of you for coming here today, showing up, and feeling strong. Make sure before you head out, you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye guys.